keep you posted on political developments and news that uh, could escalate as the day goes on. I'm not talking about that tax cut series of votes. I'm talking about the president who still says that Robert Mueller, at least as the things stand now, should not be fired. Uh, but bias is a concern to a lot of his supporters, including the president himself, to former assistant uh, director of the FBI, Chris Sweckert. Chris, their argument is that time and again reminded of the fact that those who were part of this investigation early on did have an agenda, didn't seem to like the president, and even in the case of one of them who's gone, rumors and, and fears persist that there are others like him there. What do you think? Well, I'd say in a nutshell here that, that former director Mueller is not biased, but clearly no reasonable person could conclude that otherwise than that Scrock and, and the lead investigator and his paramour, the, which, who I think was the national security law advisor to the investigation, were biased. I mean, that's pretty clear. Uh, and I can and explain why I think them. Mueller he got rid isn't, of them, but they but are. Certainly is why, you know, so now he, the, your argument sure. would be as soon as he became aware of these, we're told as soon as he became aware of these texts in particular that have become so famous now that he said, you're out of here. Uh, others are a little bit more cynical, saying, well, he had to be aware. Uh, but what do you think? Well, I understand that. Here, here's the scenario. Mueller's out of the FBI. He serves 12 years as director, right. not a hint. And I served directly under him, not a hint of bias in, in any type of investigation. We prosecuted Congre uh, Republican Congressman Cunningham and Democratic Congressman Jefferson. He had the blinders on and every step of the way. I never once heard him discuss politics or even allow it to be discussed or p personal biases. Now, he's out four years, he's, he, and Comey takes over and builds his own executive management team. When Mueller becomes special counsel, he inherits the investigative team, lock, stock, and barrel. Uh, he builds his own legal team, which is different. Those are the attorneys that he brings in. Now, I know for a fact that he doesn't get very close to the investigators. He, he does not socialize with them. He doesn't delve into their personal beliefs and that sort of thing. He's much closer to the attorneys. So I don't believe Mueller, who was a former Marine, mission-focused, is in any way biased. I think when he learned about the egregious bad judgment and bias of Scrock and his, and his uh, paramour, Right. Um, that he got rid of him. He put him on the rubber gun squad. They but sent him back that, to headquarters. No, no, you're he said, right. We can't that, use this guy. And that is the chain of events. But Scrock is, is the guy who was, at least at that stage, up until the summer, getting you a lot of the info and investigatory reports early on. Right. And you find that that might be tainted now. Um, do you start to wonder about other investigators you have? What do you think he did after, after firing him? Well, I'm sure he looked into he looked into the entire investigative team and explored whether there was anything similar going on. And the inspector general probably got their hands on all of the texts and emails of the entire investigative team, and this is what they found. Now, looking back, clearly, Scrock, when she when he was conducting or leading the email investigation, he had the thumb on the, he had his thumb on the scale. Right. He he. Uh, I mean, you can tell that uh, based on all the facts and circumstances that we now know, clearly that was a half-hearted investigation, no grand jury, uh, sweetheart deals, decisions made before key witnesses were interviewed. You could go on and on about that. And I might say the foundation investigation is probably the same way. No grand jury. You look at Manafort and how that investigation was handled, grand jury, search warrants, you know, that's an aggressive but fair investigation. Not. Mm -hmm not happening under, under the Hillary Clinton investigation. Chris, very good seeing you uh, under this breaking news day with so much going on. Chris Wacker, the former assistant director over at the FBI. Thank you.